Hello everybody and welcome to a new video where we discuss the Pacific Northwest pack. So this pack would include five animals and new scenery. So let's get into it, shall we? Starting off with the animals, we have the American black bear. So the American black bear is a largely herbaceous bear found across North American variety of different habitats from wetlands to the evergreen forests of the Pacific Northwest. These animals also come in a variety of color variations, such as the Komodi bear, which is actually a subspecies. But given that we don't have selectable subspecies, the Komodi bear would probably come in as somewhat of a variant of the American black bear instead. The next animal is the elk, a species of deer found in America and one of the largest in the world. With its iconic bugle-like call and distinct color variations, I think this animal would be a very cool addition to the deer roster. Mountain goats are not actually true goats, but instead closely related to the Tarkins and Muskox. These animals are very peculiar and are a notable animal of the mountains of the Rockies and of the Pacific Northwest. With their adept hooves, they are perfectly adapted for climbing the rocky steep slopes of the Rocky Mountains and other mountains that they are found in. North American porcupines are an arboreal species of porcupine compared to the ground-dwelling African crested porcupine we got in the arid animal pack. These animals would be a brilliant addition with beautiful little quills that would really make them a distinct sight. Moving on to possible alternatives, we have the Virginia opossum, one of the few marsupials found outside of Oceania. And this species would be great to introduce the young cat carrying on the mother's back. I think that would be a really cool feature as the sloth bear, they did hint at that in the live stream, but inevitably we didn't get it. But the Virginia opossum would be a great animal to add this with. Bighorn sheep are another notable undulates of the region, found on the grassy meadows of the mountains rather than on the rocky slopes that are inhabited by the mountain goats. These animals are very similar to the doll sheep in overall appearance, however being much browner with their white muzzles and giant horns that they have compared to the thin horns of the doll sheep. These animals would be great to see, but I don't think we would get them, unfortunately. Canada geese are a notable waterfowl species that I would love to see in the game. I've had my close scrapes with them in, the re in real life, been bitten twice, and I think this animal would be great for a bit of ambience, much like the mute swan offers. And given that we have a swan, geese are very possible. Another notable animal of the Pacific Northwest region is the sea otter, the smallest marine mammal in the world, but the heaviest otter. And are also endangered, unfortunately, dwelling in the kelp forests, but are endangered due to oil spills and habitat loss. But these animals would be great to see in the game as they are probably the most unique of the otters, spending almost their entire lives on the water. The northern elephant seal would be another great species to have in the game as one of the largest pinnipeds in the world. Males have a distinct trunk which gives them their name that they will use to create a bellowing sound to ward off rivals and maintain their patch. They are much bigger than walruses weighing almost four tons, in the males at least, and they would be a great addition as northern elephant seals are found in captivity, mostly as rescues, but would be great to see nonetheless. Another possible pinniped is the stellar sea lion, the largest sea lion in the world, as you can clearly see here with this male compared to his harem of females. Now the current California sea lion does not have this sexual dimorphism that the stellar sea lion has, but the California sea lion in real life would ha would be bigger than the females in the males. And the stellar sea lion is a much more aggressive and much bigger animal, but they are also found in captivity. So it'd be a great addition to spice up the coastline. The brown pelican is another possible alternative as we do have the swan and the swan also gives the opportunity for pelicans to be made as they do float on the water in a very similar way. And pelicans would be a great species to see in Plant Zoo, but unfortunately I think we'd probably get these in a coastal pack rather than the Pacific Northwest, as there are better choices around. 
Moving on to the exhibit slot, we have the Pileated Woodpecker for the walkthrough exhibits. Now, I do have a few possible alternatives given it is skeptical about Avery birds in the walkthrough exhibits. So, I have suggested the common garter snake, which is a very colourful colubrid, and the painted turtle, both of which would be great reptiles to see, but personally, I'd prefer to see the pileated woodpecker. Moving on to the scenery, we have scenery inspired by the Native American architecture, such as the totems, longhouses, and for those who have been wanting a log plank store style building set for American builds, you could possibly get that in this same scenery set. As the North, North American culture is very diverse and would be a great thing to highlight better in the game. Some new foliage options include the Western Hemlock, a characteristic pine tree of the American Pacific Northwest. Western sword ferns are another na native species that is iconic of the region. A few berry bushes would be cool, such as black huckleberry and elderberry bushes. Big leaf maple covered in hanging moss would be a great addition as well to create a full on mossy cloud forest atmosphere. And yeah, covered in epiphytes would be a great bonus. Moving on to the features of the free update, we have giant kelp as a new free foliage type, though they are actually algae, but I don't know if algae counts as a plant or not, but there's something. <laughs> but giant kelp is characteristic of the Pacific Northwest coastline and be a great addition to California sea lion and sea otter habitats. Sika spruce is another iconic tree of the Pacific Northwest that I would love to see in the game. They're a very cool tree to really diversify the foliage roster. Samrock pieces with similar flexicolor styles to the Indonesian bricks of the Tropical Pack would be a fantastic addition to creating realistic zoo interpretations with many placeable driftwood pieces on, on as well as well as faux sea stars, barnacles, oysters, mussels, and various other examples of shoreline marine life. This would be fantastic for spicing up the aquatic animal enclosures, such as this in Omaha's Henry Dawley Zoo at the Sea Lion Shores. Another major feature would be zoo accommodation, such as this lodge would be a great major addition to this update, and various others, such as tents, cabins, rooms, as simple as that. It would be great to give guests the opportunity to stay over at the zoos. And that is the Pacific Northwest pack. So let me know what you think of it. Would you like to see it? Would you like to not see it? Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I might be doing another pack idea like this in the coming weeks, but we'll have to see how it goes. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like and subscribe for more as we have passed over 800 subs. Thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whether it be Plant Zoo or something else. We'll have to see what lies ahead. And as for now, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.